Ciao everybody, Caterina here. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, today I'm making one of my favorite breads. It's Italian bread in a cast iron pot. So simple and incredibly delicious. Now let's get started. To start with, uh, here I have a cup of hot water at 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside I placed half a teaspoon of active dry yeast. Now I'm just going to stir it and I'm going to set it aside for 10 minutes. In my lovely terracotta uh, bowl, I have four and a half cups of sifted bread flour. Now it really does have to be sifted or it will be too heavy for the bread. To the bread flour, I'm going to add a quarter cup of semolina flour, one teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm going to give this a really good mix. I love this bread. I absolutely love it. I make it at least twice a week. I even make it for my parents. I'm preparing a well in the middle here. My yeast is ready. I'm going to add it to my flour mixture. And I'm going to give this a really good mix. Okay, it's a little bit too dry for my liking, so I'm going to add two more tablespoons of water. So I ended up adding four tablespoons of water to get this consistency. It doesn't look right, but believe me, it is. Now, it's very important that you cover your bowl with plastic wrap tightly. Um, I usually put about three sheets because I really want to make it, make sure not, that no air can get inside. Okay, it's ready. Now I'm going to keep it in a nice warm place behind my stove for 24 hours. My Italian bread dough has been rising for 24 hours. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from the plastic. I'm going to deflate it. Beautiful. On a lightly uh, floured surface. I'm just going to knead it ever so slightly. I'm going to turn it into a little ball. I have a cast iron pot here already with parchment paper. I'm going to put my dough in the pot. I'm going to dust it with a little bit of flour and we're going to let it rise for two hours. So it's been two hours that my beautiful loaf has been rising. Now all I'm going to do is with a blade, I am going to make a smile. That's all, a nice deep smile, about half an inch. No, a three quarter inch. I'm going to sprinkle some semolina on top. This will give it some beautiful color. Okay, in a cold oven, I am going to bake, set my oven at 450 for 40 minutes and in 40 minutes I'll remove the lid and cook it for an additional 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. For in here for 40 minutes, I'm going to remove, you can see that it's still white, look how beautiful that is. Remove the lid, now I'm going to put it back inside for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. I will check it. Look how beautiful. How gorgeous is that? Immediately after taking it out of the oven, I removed it from the cast iron pot and I put, put it on a uh, wood board. And it's very important that you need to let it rest for one hour. It will continue to cook and it has to cool. Beautiful, if you can only smell my kitchen. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now here I have some olive oil with um, uh, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of salt. I'm just going to put a, just a little bit on here. 
and I'm going to taste it for you. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Nothing, absolutely nothing can compare to homemade bread. Delicious. It's Katerina from my home to yours. If you enjoyed watching this segment, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel. Ciao.